Hi, Alex Crane with Crosswalk.com. Today we're on the phone with Jeff Foxworthy. He's the host of the American Bible Challenge on the Game Show Network, which premieres this Thursday, August 23rd at 8 p.m. 7 Central. Jeff, thanks for being with us today. Thank you for having me. Great. Well, we want to get right into the American Bible Challenge and your role in it. And just can you briefly describe the American Bible Challenge for those who aren't familiar with it yet? Yeah, it's uh, it's a game show about the Bible, you know. And, and when they when GSN first contacted me, and obviously I guess because of the success of Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader, and said, you know, would you be interested in doing something like this with the Bible? I really had to take a step back, and I'm like, whoa, is would it be okay to do something like that? And yeah, you know, Alex, here's here's the thing that finally sold me on it is nobody on the show is playing for a dime for themselves. Mm. Everybody is taking whatever money they win and they're turning around and they're loving somebody or blessing somebody in their community, whether it's a, a food pantry or a youth crisis center or you know teenage pregnancy or clean water wells or, or whatever the thing was, everybody's given all of it away. Mm. And, and, and so within the Bible, the only people, the only people Jesus ever got frustrated with were the Sadducees and the Pharisees who had all this head knowledge, but they didn't have heart knowledge. Mm. And so on this show, yeah, you got to have the head knowledge to answer the questions, but these people, they were out there doing this long before we came up with this show. They, you know, they were loving on somebody. And I think if we all did that, if you know, I think people in the secular world, if they, if they look at it and just saw people loving on somebody else, that would make us much more appealing. That's great. Well, that does set the show apart. It makes it unique. Yeah. Um, talking about the specific categories, I noticed that one of the question categories is Bible redneck. So I, <laughs> you, you, you knew this question had to come up. What Bible character do you, Jeff Foxworthy, think is the most redneck? There's a lot of those people in the Bible. You know, <laughs> Samson tied fox's tails together and set them on fire so they would burn up his neighbor's fields. Uh, <laughs> You know, the longest recorded conversation that Jesus had was with the woman at the well. Well, she had been divorced five times and was shacked up with guy number six. You know, if there had been trailers, she'd have been living in one. And, <laughs> and yet this was the woman that went back to the entire community and said, I have found living water. Come back with me. You know, I think Jesus kind of likes rednecks. He sure didn't use a lot of them. <laughs> That's good. Well, hey, many are saying that America is really in dire need of spiritual revival. Are you hoping, Jeff, some way that the American Bible Challenge can be instrumental in that? You know, I, I, I mean, I, I, I hope so. I think, Alex, the fact that it's not on a Christian network, it's on the game show network, is a, is a cool start in that direction. Mm -hmm. You know, and I think we're a nation, I think we have more faith than we confess to. I, but I think somewhere along the line, being a Christian became uncool. And, you know, because that's the, the, that's the message the world sends you, is you're the man, you're the man, you know, you're, show people how rich you are, show people how cool you are. And we're not. I mean, we're just not. We're, you can pretend to be that way, and, you know, to me it's cooler to have faith to go, here's the good news, the good news is it's not based on my performance, because Many, many times I'm going to fall short. I fall short on a daily basis. It's thank you that there is a God that is based on his goodness. The fact that he loved me enough, he didn't even wait on me to start performing right mm. before he paid the price for me. To me, that's cool. And I think as a nation, man, if we could ever get back to that point and just throw your arms out and go, you know what, it's not based on, on my goodness or my coolness. It's based, it's based on how good God is. Well, thank you, Jeff, for your time. It's been great hearing your heart about this exciting new game show. We're really hoping that the American Bible Challenge is successful for you and for Game Show Network. Thank you so much, guys. Have a great day.